Hi friends, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to talk to you guys about the age-old debate. Should I go with a PC-based lighting console, whether it's something that's just a box here like Intec DMX's, maybe it's a full PC wing that plugs in and has controls, versus a standalone console like this, actually the Lightshark LS1. Now, this debate and this question of whether you should go PC or console really is a whole different conversation than the what console should I get. While some of the consoles that I recommend and use like Entex DMXs and the WorkPro Lightshark are limited to one or the other, in this case DMXs being PC only and the Lightshark being hardware only, you can't run this on a regular computer. With other consoles that I recommend, like Onyx and a lot of the professional level consoles out there, you have a choice. You can choose whether you're going to choose to run it on a PC or whether you're going to run it on one of their consoles. And in this video, I want to bust some of the myths that I hear and read online that I see people saying. Uh, some of the misrepresentations and really help you see why one or the other would be better than you. Okay, so the very first myth that I hear the most about lighting consoles is your PC is going to get automatic updates and it's going to crash. Well, the truth is, and the way to shatter this myth, is that a properly managed PC doesn't have these problems. In fact, I use PCs on gigs and I use PCs all the time when I'm programming for hours on end here when I'm doing tutorials for Learn Stage Lighting and I never have that problem. Also, the other way to shatter that myth is that, well, at the end of the day, today's modern lighting consoles are all really PCs. That's what they are, right? They often are going to run embedded windows on them or they might run a Linux-based application, but the more I hear about modern, the more modern consoles I hear about are running Windows. And guess what? They're fine. There's not a problem. So it's not really about updates coming and frying in and taking care of your computer. So what is it that causes people to shy away? Well. You know, when you look at a PC versus a standalone console, you've got an ease of use thing. That's something that's really clear that you got to look at. It's easier to take a console, pull it out of the case, set it at a lighting where you're going to run your lights from, plug in the power, plug in the DMX, and you're done. With a PC, you'll have to set up a PC, get it power, get it a mouse and keyboard, a screen, get your console stuff plugged in, get that plugged into DMX, make sure everything's talking, you know, boot it up. There's a lot more steps to getting started. Now, the other side of the coin there is that it's often much cheaper to go with a PC-based setup versus a full-size console. The other side of it, really, and I think this is where the debate centers the most, is on the management of the computer, okay? This is make or break. If you keep that computer clean, you don't put a lot of applications on it, and when you're in shows, you don't run updates or connect it to the open internet, you'll be good. You shouldn't have any problems. Not only that, but modern operating systems, like Windows 10, has plays in there for you to delay updates or to pause them or to set active hours when they won't automatically update, though this won't be an issue because you're not connecting it to open internet while in a show. So the benefit, of course, it's all about cost. If you manage a PC well, it can be just as reliable as a console for a fraction of the price and do just as much. But if you're the kind of person who might be a rental house, might send out these PCs with lots of different people and have to manage them and check them and make sure they're, they're being taken care of, that can really be a burden. Whereas having a built-in console, whether it's a Light Shark or an Onyx console, you know, let's just compare Onyx to Onyx, right? PC to a, a Onyx console like the NX2. 
you know, you can have the same exact physical looking setup. Touchscreen, same controller, um, computer versus non-computer. But at the end of the day, if you're in a rental type situation or you set up and tear down a lot, different people go out with it, it's just plain easier to manage something that doesn't have a standard PC in it. Just remember, it at the end of the day is pretty much a computer. So I hope that this video has helped you to understand the difference between whether you should run your show off a PC or off of a professional console off of, or a standalone console like the Light Shark, like the Onyx NX2, stuff like that. Because I think there's a right answer for everyone. There are some people, like I've mentioned, who will always go with the console. Usually these are production companies, people sending the desks out with different people, and you need that easy to manage ability where nobody's gonna install anything on it, nobody's gonna play Farmville on it, you know, whatever else, um, nobody's gonna be able to do that. Whereas if you're owning your own console and just using it yourself or just have it at your church or somewhere like that, then you could save a lot of money by going with the PC setup and at the end of the day, they're going to be the same function-wise. You just got to be careful. Keep that thing clean. Don't put extra stuff on it. No need to update it unless you're having problems or want the latest software, and you'll be great. In fact, I've got an article on Learn Stage Lighting that goes a little deeper into this. It's called, How Do I Set Up My Show Computer for Lighting? So you can check that out here. Be sure to subscribe. I should have said that earlier, but I didn't. And I will see you guys in our next video here on Learn Stage Lighting. Thanks.